Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create our own Python package. So why do we need this package and how will we create this package? So the first thing is that here you can see that we are on computer vision zone. This is the new platform that we have released, computer vision zone that will contain everything about computer vision. So you can see here that we have a lot of different projects and each project will have certain amount of code, certain amount of modules that are required to run it. So for example, we have this virtual mouse, we have face landmarks, uh, personal AI trainer, pose estimation, gesture control, finger counter. So all these projects, they have some similarities. Uh, we are using some libraries along with them. So what we did was we created modules for each of these projects. But the thing is that we need to archive them in one place so that everyone around the globe can use it and they can get the same results. So this way it can be very easy to work with. So what we will do is we will upload our package to PyPy. So this is PyPy.org. So this is basically a platform that manages uh, packages for Python. So we are going to upload our package here and then everyone around the globe can simply write pip install whatever the name of the package is and then they will be able to use all those functionalities. So the idea here is that since we are doing it based on this platform we are going to call it cvzone. So our package name will be cvzone. Now I already have a package by that name so instead we are going to use cvzone2 but the content will be pretty much the same. Later on, uh, I will remove CVZone2 and we will keep updating CVZone. But for testing purposes, I will show you how you can uh, create your own package and upload it to PyPy using CVZone2. So first, we are going to create a project in PyCharm. We will call it CVZone2. So this is the name of the project. Now getting your package ready for uploading is quite a bit of a task. So we are going to be following a blog written by Joel Barr Mettler. And he has written this blog very nicely, very precisely. And it tells you everything you need to follow to actually upload your PyPy package. So we are going to follow this and I will put the link of this in the description as well. So first thing is that we are going to create our Python project. So we will name it the same that we want our package to be. So inside this, we are also going to create a new folder and we will also call it cvzone2. So whatever code or whatever modules we have, we will put inside this uh, child folder. And in the parent folder, we will have some setting files. So the first thing you have to do is you have to bring in your code. So I have a few files. So we are not going to add everything right now. Uh, we have the face module and the hand tracking module. So I will bring those in. If you don't know about these, I have written these down. Uh, I've shown how to actually write it down in one of our previous videos. Actually, in quite a lot of videos, we have iterated through uh, enhancing these modules. So you might want to check that uh, in these different projects, but if you don't want to go into that much detail, we are simply going to paste it here. And you can see that we have the face mesh module and the hand tracking module. So these are the two modules and you can see that both of them, they require CV2 and media pipe. So here you can see face and here you can see hand tracking. So both of them require uh, what do you call CV2 and media pipe. So we'll go to file settings and we will go to the project. We'll go to the interpreter and we will add uh, open CV dash Python. And then we will add media pipe. So the first thing we need to do before we actually start working on the settings, we have to make sure 
that nothing is out of the class or out of the function. So there should be no code over here. So outside and anything that we have should be within a function or a class. So here you can see this is within the main function and this is for our module that if we run this, uh, this is basically the dummy code. And also we should not have any print statements. So there should not be anything printing randomly if you, for example, import this package and you run it and all of a sudden there is a lot of print statements running and you don't know why they are printing. So we will let the user decide what they want to print and what they want to hide. So therefore, no print statements and we have to make sure nothing is out of the class or the uh, functions. So once that is done, we are going to create the initialization file. So we are going to write here underscore underscore init underscore underscore and we will hit enter. So basically this file will contain all the imports. So we are going to write here from CV zone two dot face mesh module import. So here we need to import all the classes that we have. So here you can see we have the face mesh module. So here inside we have the face mesh detector. So this is the only class that we have. The rest of them are methods. So here we can simply go and we can write face mesh detector. And the same thing we will do for the other cv 2 zone dot hand tracking module. We are going to import the hand detector. So this is the idea. And if you have more files, you have more classes, you are going to import all of these here. The next thing we will do, we will go to our parent folder and here we are going to create a few files. So first of all, we are going to create a Python file and we will call it setup. And then we are going to create another file and we will call it setup.cft. And then we are going to create a license file. Here we have to make sure that everything is capitalized. License.txt and then we are going to add a readme file. So we will add a readme.md. Again, this is for, uh, th all of this is capital. So we can close all of these to have a cleaner space. Main.py we can delete, we don't need that. Okay, so the first thing we will do, we will go to our setup.py and we are going to copy the template that is provided on the blog. So here you can see that we have all these parameters that we need to assign. So first of all, we need to assign the name of our package. So we will write here CV zone two. Then again, we will copy that and paste it here. Then we have the version, we can keep it to 0 0.1. And then the license is MIT. Again, you can choose whichever license you prefer. Then you can write description of your package over here. For example, we can write uh, computer, computer vision helper functions, let's say. And then the author, so let's say I will write my name and then my email. So let's say contacts at computer vision dot zone. And then th this is optional, but it is highly recommended that you have a GitHub page and then you also have a release for that. So these two we are not going to do right now, but later on we can add these as well. Then you can add some keywords, for example, computer vision, and then we can write face detection. and tracking and so on. So we can define these keywords here. And then we have the install requires. So these are the packages that you are installing to run your own package. So in our case, if we go to our module, you can see that we have CV2, we have MediaPipe and we have time. 
Now time is something that is default and it comes with Python, but uh, CV2 and MediaPipe is something that we have installed. And again, we can see MediaPipe and CV2 in the hand tracking module as well. So here we are going to write OpenCV-Python Python and then we will write media pipe. So there you go. So if you add these packages here, then it will automatically install them. Now you can remove these as well and you can let the user decide what to install and what version to install. So that is up to you. And then here we have some other parameters. Uh, we are not going to change these. We can change the Python versions. So we can add, for example, okay, let's remove these. Let's remove the last one. So let's write here 3.6, 3.7, and 3.8. So that is pretty good. Then we can move on to the setup.cfg. Here we have to write that our description file is basically readme. And that is pretty much it. So we can close that as well. Then in the license, we are going to copy the MIT license. So again, if you have a different one, you can write a different one here. So for example, we can write here CV zone. Then we have readme file. So this is basically the explanation of how actually you can use your code. So this is highly recommended that you fill this properly so that people can understand and they can get up and running really quickly if you have some dummy code lying around. So that could be very useful. And some images as well, they can be very useful if you show how exactly uh, does your package work and what are the results. So then we are going to go to our terminal and here you can see that we are in our virtual environment and we are within our CV zone 2 folder. So here we are going to write Python and then we will write setup.py and then we will write sdist. So basically this will create the distribution that is required by the PyPy. So we will hit enter and Python is not, <laughs> the spellings are wrong and there you go. So now if we click here, you will see that we have a distribution folder and within that we have a file that is ready to upload. Next, we are going to upload a package that will help us to upload our package to PyPy. So that is called tween. So we will write here pip install tween. So now we will write here tween or twine, whatever you want to call it, upload. And then we want to upload our distribution folder and we want to upload everything inside it. So we will write this asterisk and then we will hit enter. Now we need to write our username and password so that we can upload. So what I will do is I will write here CV zone and then I will enter my password. And there you go. So now it has been uploaded. So if we click on it, it will take us to the project. So there you go. Now you can see that uh, we can use pip install CV zone 2 to actually install this. So this is how simple this is. So let's try this out. We are going to create a new project. We will call it testing by by uh, let's say a package of CV zone. It's a long name, but whatever. So now we have our new project ready. We are going to remove everything here. We will keep the main file. 
and now to test it out we will go to our terminal and we are going to write here pip install cvzone2 and we do not need to install anything else because uh, we already have the dependencies of OpenCV and then we also have the dependency of MediaPipe. So right now it's installing all of these. And there we go. So now it is installed. So if we write here import CVZone2, then it will not give us an error. So what we can do is to test it out, we can try the, let's say the hand tracking module. So let's go back. And in the hand tracking module, we had some dummy code. So again, this dummy code you should add in your readme so that people can see. So we are going to copy this, the main function, and we are going to go to our new project. So here we are going to paste it. And of course we need to import CV2. Okay, so we have an indentation error. We need to go back, okay. So now you can see that we have an error here because of the hand detector. So the hand detector is within our module. So we can write here CV zone two dot hand detector. And there you go. So now there is no error. Uh, we have an error here because of time. So we can just import, import time. So let's change this to one because my camera, I have two cameras installed. So let's try this now and there you go. So now you can see my webcam and there is my hand and there is the tracking. So that is amazing. So this is how easily and quickly you can find this. And you can see that there are some uh, detection within the detection. So it's basically trying to find two hands. So we can write here max hands is equals to one. So if we try it again, you will see that that does not happen because it's not trying to find another hand. So it doesn't happen. And then we can also, uh, let's say we can write here fingers is equals to detector dot fingers up and it will give us how many fingers are up so we will write here print fingers and if we run that and if we look over here there is nothing and if we go in then you can see all the fingers if we put one down over here 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 you can see all of them are down all of them are up one of them is up, two, three, four, and five. So that's how simple and easy it gets once you have your package ready. Uh, all we did was wrote like 23 lines of code and we are able to detect our hand so easily. So we are going to upload the package by the name CV Zone. So this will already be available online so you can install that and start working with all these different modules so the thing is that all of these projects that we have been doing we have been creating these modules we are going to upload those so that you don't have an issue when you're creating new projects and also do check out our new platform the cv zone uh, it has a lot of projects 90 percent of the material available on this website is for free so do check it out and we do have some paid courses as well and currently they are on sale because of Eid. So make sure you check that out. They are on a 30% sale. And of course, if there are some free courses as well, and you can try those. And there are a lot of projects. You can go around and check these out as well. And there will be a lot more things coming up uh, soon. There are also web demos and some books. Again, this is just the beginning. We will have a lot more that will be coming very soon. So stay tuned and do register if you haven't registered so far because you need to register to all these free courses and projects. So this is it for today's video. I hope you have learned something new. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next one.